X U E I X C I U X U E. Why is her name so hard to pronounce? I'm just gonna call her X because apparently that's what everyone calls her. Welcome back to another episode of Arc Knights. Last episode we had Exu and Texas show up. What do we do? The whole point was trying to get Misha to safety by handing her over to Chen. But once we do that, what's gonna happen? Do you is is she really gonna be all right? It seems like Chen has some other ulterior motives that I can't really trust her so far. But the one that I don't trust the most has to be way just because of how the contract was set remember there's a two-part state there's a two-part deal of that contract the second part which she won't tell amia until the moment that's why i've been uh, honestly kept saying i don't trust him i feel like he's already sold you know um lungman to the reunion and they're trying to get the rhodes island all in one right now um I think Misha might actually come back to Rose Island with us at this rate, right? I think at the end we were talking to Misha and we were like kind of healing her and it was, seems like we're, the plan is to bring her over. But so I guess from now on, my guess is attack by reunion. Everything's in flames. We try our best. Some kind of shocking thing happens with Wei and then we try to run away to Rose Island. And that's the season, I guess, because this episode, the season's supposed to only last, I think, 10 episodes i might be wrong about that but this is already like episode six so maybe we'll have like one more arc maybe this arc will kind of wrap up by episode seven then eight nine ten will be like the final arc of this season but i don't know let's watch what happens in today's episode is that talula it is talula oh boy here we go <laughs> here we fucking go <laughs> meteors ahoy yeah it's over. Lungman's falling. It's over. It's over. But we kind of already knew it was over. And if we make it fall, the butterfly land? That belongs to us. It looks like a symbol of destruction gets a butterfly coming to her. It almost... You don't have to do that! I was just about to make some kind of juxtaposition of how, you know, the one that brings the catastrophe somehow is in tune with nature, but she just burns the burst a butterfly right Tarara, that's your name though yo what was up with talula's monologue at the end she was talking about how she was able to get everything that belongs to them but then she said right talula did i hear that wrong why was she talking to herself as if talula is a different entity that, that wasn't crown slayer saying it right okay focus on the plot She's supposed to be super special for some reason. Protect. Protect your own goddamn city. It's going down. Am I being hard on Chen for no reason? No, it's just because she's such a hard ass that I'm like slapping back like this. <laughs> There's no need. I'm sure Chen has her own reasons. She's just trying her best, okay? She's doing her job. Maybe this is the last time we see Misha too. <laughs> I mean... Based on how the anime has it going so far, it's not too happy. So, like, maybe this is the last time we see Misha. Also, what about the kid? Wait! The whole point of getting Misha was to return her to her, like, you know, the kids with the doll, right? What the f At least let them see! What? The doll with the kids. Uh, okay, fuck them kids, I guess. Whatever. Okay, this is some flags of like Misha might not survive or they'll never meet again or some shit's gonna happen because like yeah in the future when everything's okay let's make some dolls together okay it's like come on really really dude oh this is not good <laughs> monster inspector <laughs> I love her I don't I forget her. I don't know her name just yet I should, probably should know but I love the way she says things. The, the the brunette right here, right beside Exu, not Texas. Little angel. She gets like nicknames for everybody too. Like uh, Amiya's like a uh, little bunny, I think. And she always says like, "Okay." <laughs> I don't know why that's so so like pleasing to my ears. Chen, can we trust you? Chen, are you really gonna take care of Misha? Yeah, why are they so interested in Misha? They won't tell Amiya, right? On the, over the phone call. No, there's plenty of infected, but why you in specific? Dad? Who was her dad? Oh? What? Oh, okay? On his daughter. Oh. 
because she might have some kind of secrets or something. Is Tala really... Wait, her mission is to burn that, you know, Longman down, but also reclaim that building, I guess, but... Is she specifically going after Misha because of her relationship with her dad? Like... Oh? Dragon Lady. <laughs> What did they say? Did they say that she was kind of mean but actually really nice inside? Oh! What? So, even though she's always being a hard ass, like, she obviously has a soft side that she'll never show us, but she does help the kids? Okay, okay, I I'm liking Chen more. Let's go, Chen. Let's go, Chen. This is, this is a lot of redeeming Chen moments right now. I should not have said that. Now we jinxed it. We're going to... That's a grenade! Bruh! Bruh! Alright, well, we're not wasting any time. That... Is that W? Is that W? I think... Gio, this is looking pretty bad. It's a lot of people. And this is the person that was after us in the... the previous episode. Who is this person? Maybe. They're all after her. You already knew we we're on the opposite sides, even though we're both infected. There might be something more. Because what, what does Wei intend to do with Misha then? Man, she got really pissed off. Oh? Wait, back up! What a timely manner. Just when Amiya started to do her little, like, epic monologue of comeback. Oh, let's go! I... It's hard for me to hate the reunion as much, I guess, because... You know, they're all technically on the same side. It's just unfortunate how everything panned out. Ooh, Chen versus W is insane. Yo, you're just dropping grenades in that like melee distance. <laughs> you're nuts. Oh, oh I thought for a moment I thought it was Doctor throwing the rock at that. <laughs> okay, let's go, Dragon Lady. Dude, this girl is just like ex this explosion maniac. Oh, uh, she needs a treatment. She's too weak to move. Oh. Hey, you need to get her back alive. Don't kill her. Dude, Chen's at such a disadvantage here. This is not fair. We need someone else to come help. Damn. Back up, back up. No, our radio signal's jammed! This is too overwhelming. Like, uh, okay, I thought someone was helping, but it's a W. Yoink! Bye-bye! Um, yeah, you shouldn't have jinxed by saying let's create a doll together in the future when we're all better. God damn it. It's not her fault. I know. I'm just saying. That was too fucking obvious and cliche. No. Easy. So. We just go back home. No, I thought we're trying to make Lungman's collapse and reclaim that building. It wasn't. It's not just Misha, is it? Oh, wow. Damn, they're very objective based. Okay. I look how Franka keeps saying little bunny. Because they got their objective. What do you think it could be, Amiya? Polaris. Polaris to signal to Talula that we got our objective. It can't be! Yeah. That's a cool shield. Design of that shield is really cool. Oh, who's this? Green hair, turquoise hair girl? Oh? Longman slang. That was definitely not Japanese. That was... Longman apparently is based off of Hong Kong? Was it? Was it Hong Kong or Taiwan? I think it might have been Hong Kong, but that should be Kanto then? That's right, the lead scientist. Even better than Dokta? An important political figure as well. Hmm. But it can't be that simple. Yeah. Is there something about Misha's actual blood? 
like I doubt Misha has any sort of like research information in her head. It's just a blood relation between her and her dad. Unless Misha might actually know something? Oh shit, maybe she does have like the master blueprint in her head. I mean, that was all we need to know. By yourself? Come on, let's go together. Oh, stop it! Let us help you! And she has such a strong sense of duty. She keeps blaming herself in what obviously it's not really, really her fault. But like, again, that's how much of a... I mean, that's just her character, right? She's just doing her job. She's a very noble person. It's kind of a little bit cold, you know? But there's a soft side that she's not showing us. Oh no! Oh, back up. Chen! Susume. Man, I haven't heard that since uh, Captain Irwin from Attack on Titan. Oh. Oh. There's a sniper. Oh, it's that girl again! Who is she? It's Chen Noah? Oh. Hoshiguma. She's, she looks like a look. Is she like an Oni type, I guess? Okay. Hoshiguma. She just attack with the shield. <laughs> it's always funny to me when people's like main weapon is like a shield because it's supposed to like defend, but then sometimes people just bash the shit out of people with shield. And it's like, that's not what it's supposed to be used for. But <laughs> it's funny. The LGD. Oh, that's what it stands for. Okay, I get the acronym now. But they're hyping the LGD up. And then I feel like we're gonna get fucking trashed. Yeah, you got backup. Yo, Ami is nuts. Like, her arts is kind of crazy if you think about it. Hoshiguma. Special inspection unit. Very cool. One of them. I want to see the other ones too. Yeah. This little bunny is the leader, yes. Oh, Hoshikuma is so respectful. Sure. Yeah, she's quite decisive. Yeah, she's always like planning. See? See the soft slides that we never see? It's always just in the background. She takes care of the kid. She talks literally highly of Amiya. Like, this is the appeal of characters like uh, Chen. Like the really hard ass ones. Look! <laughs> that is the appeal of the hard ass characters, yeah. It's a good archetype. I, li I like them. Can we though? I hope so. Based on how we kind of jinxed it, set kind of like not death flags, but flags of things are not going to go well. With how like we're going to make a doll together, right? In the future when we're all good. It's like I don't know, man. I mean, the episode's called Farewell, and that's another episode of Arc Knights. That was episode six. So assuming again, if we have like seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe this. I mean, I thought that we get a lot of advancements of like the collapse of Longman in this episode, this, but this feels like more of setup, right? So maybe it's the rest until episode 10 will cover that. I'd like that an extensive like arc to kind of just have an epic battle against reunion against the LGD, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, we got more reunion figureheads coming up. Crown Slayer, Skull Shatterer, was it? What a, what a bunch of names. The weirdest thing was how Tala was talking, but then she kind of referenced herself, right? I, I, I Unless I'm crazy there, it really sounded like Tala was talking about the building, how we were going to reclaim it. She burnt the butterfly, and then she said, right, Tala? But it's like, wait, but you're Tala. Meaning, Tala, there's two Tala? There's Tala isn't Tala, there's another Tala, or Tala is an ideal, or Tala is somebody that she took her name from, from like a previous Tala. I don't fucking know, man. I'm just trying to make sense of all this, but it's looking like... It's looking pretty bad for Lungman, but this is going to be some good, good hype content coming up in the next episode. So, hey, if you stick around this long and if you enjoyed this reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one. It helps the Utah go push out my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.